Okay, I'd like to tie the red and black midge. Uh, since it's in my high school colors, red and black, I've nicknamed this the Herky Midge. Um, it's a pattern that's um, very easy to tie. What we're looking for in the pattern is a red butt, uh, kind of a red and black midsection, and a completely black section behind the bead. Um, I'm going to be tying this using a uh, Dairiki 060 hook in size 18. Tie it in size 18 and 20s. For the bead, I have a tungsten bead, and this is a 564 in natural. <laughs> I'm going to be using some Viva's thread in black. This happens to be 12 odd. Um, 8 odd or smaller would work fine. I'm going to start the thread behind the bead, lay a base so the bead doesn't move. And clip that. For the body, I'm going to be using a Wapsi stretch tubing. Um, this is in blood red. It's a size micro. Um, it can also come in red. For this particular pattern, I am going to be using the blood red. Okay, we'll start our tubing right behind the eye or the bead. Make three or four real strong wraps. Then we're going to stretch it slightly down the shank and make some looping wraps till we come to a point that's about halfway between the barb and the point. Make a couple good tight wraps there. Then another couple wraps down the shank. And we'll leave the thread there behind the bead. At this point, I'm going to put in a half hitch. And I'm going to bring my thread over, not straight. Okay, I'm going to make a couple of loose wraps with the tubing down towards the bin. And then I'm going to stretch it and continue down the bin. Okay, then I'm going to bring my tubing back over the top. Until I come to that point where I started going down the bin or where the thread was. At this point, I'm going to relax the tubing a little bit, not stretch it as much so the diameter becomes bigger. I'll bring it all the way up to a point behind the bead. And I'll tie it off. Cut our tubing. Okay, we'll half hitch it. Clip off our thread. And we're going to put just a dab of head cement on that thread behind the bead. Put my cement on the bead, then pull it down onto the thread. Okay, and if I've done this correctly, we have the red and black midge, and we do have some black and red in the middle. The tail is completely red, and the head is black. <laughs> 